Look around in the forest. In New York State, you're likely to see a lot of maple trees. If those maples are ready to tap, the forest could produce a lot of sap, and that sap could be boiled down into delicious maple syrup. But how would you know if this forest could become a sugar bush? What would you look for? First, you'll need to know how to identify the trees in the forest. I have here the sugar maple leaf. That's probably the easiest way to identify which tree is a maple. And you can see that it has smooth edges, even though there's some curves, we consider that a smooth edge maple leaf. And it has uh, the five lobes, one, two, three, four, five. Leaves are the easiest way to identify trees. Any maple tree can be tapped, but sugar maples are the best for producing the sweetest and most maple syrup. And a sugar maple tree is the ideal tree for making maple syrup for several reasons. One is that it is the sweetest tree. The sap that comes from this type of tree is sweeter than from other kinds of trees. And it stays dormant the longest into the spring. What dormant means is it doesn't start to swell the bud because <clears throat> when the bud starts to swell, the flavor of maple syrup does not hold up. It becomes, uh, first starts to, instead of tasting like maple, it starts to taste kind of like a Tootsie Roll and then it goes severely downhill from there as soon as the buds start to swell. It's more difficult to identify a tree by its bark. Sugar maples, also called hard maples, and other soft maples are difficult to tell apart. And the bark can resemble other species like the red oak or basswood. So if you're planning to tap a tree, it's helpful to identify and mark it in summer. Summer is also the best time to check the health of the forest. Tent caterpillars can cause huge problems if they spread, devouring thousands of leaves. In the summer, the canopy will be more obvious. An open canopy allows more undergrowth, and smaller plants will take away nutrients from the surrounding trees. So thinning the forest can help mature trees be more productive. Deer can be a problem. They eat the young maple saplings, endangering future growth. Even if a forest has plenty of healthy maple trees, there's another big question. How big are they? Maple trees aren't ready to tap until they're at least 10 inches in diameter. Otherwise, new wood won't cover each year's tap sufficiently before that area of the tree needs to be tapped again. Even on a large enough maple, yearly taps should zigzag up and down the tree trunk. Old taps leave a scar in the wood, and sap won't flow well there. Another issue, how does someone tell if there are enough tappable maple trees in a forest to make it worth setting up tubing or buckets, building a sugar house, and boiling sap into syrup? What percentage of maples does a forest need for that? And who would want to try counting all the maples in a forest? Here, a basal area scale is used, spotting all within a full circle. Maples that fill the frame are measured and recorded. This process is repeated in several areas within a site. A reasonable estimate can then be extrapolated from these findings. Using the tally sheet, mm -hmm. we only have two trees in this reading, and they are in this 10 to 11.9 rating, and I have to multiply these two times 15.2. So my taps per acre here would be 30.4 on average, and okay. there are no trees out here. Okay. So that's only 30 taps per acre. That's not that there aren't more maples here, it's that those maples aren't large enough to tap. And by rights, in a woods like this, we would do at least five points and then take our average. Tappable trees are not what we're finding. This property is in a great location especially considering its access to roads and electricity, and it has a downhill slope toward that area of access. It's an excellent place for a sugar house. However, this site was judged to be too immature. It's not ready for a profitable maple farm. Considering the number of young maples here, it could become profitable in 10 to 15 years. Perhaps a maple farm may be here in the future. Who knows, maybe maples also in your future.